Hello everyone. Now I'm going to give you a demonstration about the observability in CubeSphere version 3.0. As you can see, different users can have a visualized web console for all resources and data. First, let's look at the monitoring dashboard for nodes. Choose a cluster and you will have a direct view of all detailed information of nodes, such as CPU utilization and memory utilization. Code information is also provided, and line charts are used for monitoring data. Second, the console offers great observability for service components. With all detailed information included, it allows you to detect and locate any problems in an effective and efficient way. The next part is about the monitoring of project resources. Select a user project and we can see all the application and physical resources. You can customize the time range and pull information will be provided as well. System projects are also listed here. Now let's see how we can look at our data from different dimensions. In workloads, click a deployment. It provides a holistic view of the deployment. Click a pod and you can see more detailed information. Inbound and outbound traffic will be monitored. Pod health will be checked. Utilization is recorded. You can even see detailed logs here. Now let's get back to the previous workload dashboard where stateful sets and daemon sets are also listed. The fifth part is about the monitoring of different clusters. You can see how your resources are being used with all the components recorded. Again, line charts are used to demonstrate physical resources. API servers, as well as schedulers. You can sort nodes by different metrics. A multi-dimensional dashboard for application monitoring is also provided. One of the biggest advantages of version 3.0 is that you can customize monitoring dashboard. Let me give you an overview here. This is an example of SQL. It includes all the basic information you might want to monitor. Let's see how we can do this. Go to the App Store, select the app, deployment location, check the configuration, and deploy it with just one click. Now we can customize the dashboard with different templates available to choose from. First, we need to enter a name. For example, after that, click Create. The dashboard is divided into different parts, including general settings, line charts, and group details. If you don't like this pattern, you can also customize your own dashboard. This includes chart types and colors. You can preview the chart on the top. First, we need to enter the monitoring metric. For example, the chart will be displayed in real time. Metric name and decimal places can also be customized. Another way to customize your dashboard is using the YAML file. Click Edit Mode. We need to copy the code from the YAML file in GitHub. For example, copy it, paste it, and click Create when you finish. And here is your customized dashboard. The next part is about the enhanced log query function. You can search for a specific log based on different items. For instance, you can check the log related to error. All the logs are summarized in a bar chart which provides a direct view for you to compare. Fuzzy query and exact query are supported. Click one of them and you can see the detail of this log. Other types of query is also supported, such as events. 
Basically, that's a quick walkthrough of CubeSphere observability, which visualizes almost everything you want and you can customize the way you want them to be displaced. More observability features are coming and a new version of CubeSphere is on its way. For more information, please follow our latest videos.